something you thought would work, but it didn't really go as you'd hoped. That's what's happening with the management of coral reefs, these environments here. They're less than 1% of the world's oceans and yet support 25% of the species. And what's more, 500 million people rely on them for food or employment. Sadly, overfishing and pollution, among other things, have taken their toll on these environments such that they no longer look like this. The corals and the fish have died and they've become these degraded landscapes where there's lots of seaweed and little else. Now in response to this, marine protected areas are often established. So within a section of reef, these are areas where human impact is limited. So there's far less trampling, fishing and pollution. Now the first aim of these areas is to protect the organisms within the boundaries so that they're healthy, they grow, they produce lots of babies. And around the world, this first aim has been accomplished and protected areas can return to conditions like this. However, the second aim is that the babies will move and settle into the unprotected reefs and in doing so, support the reef communities and therefore the fisheries in those areas. Now the problem is, research has shown this spillover isn't really happening. And this is what prompted me to go to these reefs in Fiji. Now there are only a handful of species found in the unprotected reefs and I wanted to know what it was that enables them to survive when the majority can't. So I compared them between the two areas and I transplanted them into different conditions to see how they coped. And you can maybe see one of my experiments in the background there. And what I found is that these few species have an incredible ability to adjust to different conditions by making either behavioral or physical modifications. But what I also found is that this dominant seaweed goes so far as to create conditions that perpetuate its success to the detriment of other species. Now this means we are not going to see species from the protected areas surviving here once this seaweed gets a stronghold. So under these circumstances, the current management strategy is not effective and it is not going to meet all its aims. So we need a new one. The future of millions of people and one of the world's most beautiful environments depend on it. Thank you.